Transition Awareness Breathing. Feeling grounded for both children and parents is essential for healthy living and learning. Join Earth Apollo on this series for tips and tools for creating a harmonious environment for learning. Transition Awareness Breathing will help you and your child find an individualized path to tackle change, promote lifelong learning, and discover new approaches to calmness. Imagine you're going to a conference. It is located in a place that you have never been. And if it hadn't been for this conference, you probably would not go there. Everyone is going there for the same reason that you are. It's a special interest conference. How do you feel? You've landed. The flight was uneventful. When you get to the baggage claim, you find out that your baggage is not there. How do you feel? Welcome to Transition Awareness Breathing Podcast. This is Eartha. Thank you for joining me. Today, we're going to talk about getting to know you. But first, I'd like to thank Web Talk Radio for allowing me a platform to bring this information to you. Thank you to my producers, Mary Lou and Sam, for helping to bring this information to you wherever you are at. Let's continue. We're in an exercise, and I'd like to continue to present this exercise to you. At each point, I'm going to ask you, how do you feel? And I really want you to really imagine that you're going through this experience, or maybe you've relived this experience. Let's continue. Let's see. We were at the baggage claim. Oh, yeah. And your baggage wasn't there. How are you feeling about that? The hotel has a courtesy van waiting for you. If you don't get on that van now, the driver tells you, you'll have to wait another hour for the next courtesy van. How do you feel? Exercise pause. Listening to this virtual adventure so far, what is going through your mind? Imagine what is your breathing like. Take a few seconds. And if you've been through something like this, can you remember how you were feeling? Let's continue. The driver of the courtesy van convinces you to get on the van that's waiting for you. You find out that your baggage has already arrived at the hotel and it's waiting for you. How do you feel? The ride to the hotel was pleasant at first. The sun has set and now it's dark. It's starting to rain and the rain is getting harder. But by the time you arrive at the hotel, the storm is full blown you are soaking wet how do you feel it's your turn to go up to the check-in counter the agent offers you a warm heated beach towel so you can wrap yourself around it if you would like while they continue the check-in process now you notice most people had completed their check-in process within 10 minutes. You've been at the counter now for 30 minutes. The agent steps away, apologizes to you, and calls his manager over to discuss something. The agent offers you another warm towel. How do you feel? You look at your phone and you notice you have a missed call from home exercise pause what's going through your mind now what are you going to do while you're waiting let's continue the manager comes to you and apologizes for the inconvenience and the wait it is explained to you that the hotel had overbooked the rooms they will have 
a room ready for you in about an hour. But because of the prolonged check-in and the inconvenience they caused you, the manager is offering you a room on the executive suite floor. Now, on this floor, all rooms have suites, kitchenettes, a bar, and jacuzzi. How do you feel? Exercise over. In our previous podcast, we talked about awareness. We discussed breathing and the dynamics of breathing. And today, we're going to explore mindfulness acceptance. Mindfulness acceptance involves getting to know who you are at the point when you feel like fleeing from a situation. I think most of us have been there. Have you ever, I know I have, been in a store with your child and they are in a tantrum. You can see it coming, you know it's coming, and it just seems time has stopped. And you're there with you and your child. At that point, many people have different recommendations. But you know your child. But how are you doing with this situation? It's a mindfulness acceptance. It's a a part of slowing down and recognizing your emotions at that moment. That moment when you feel like melting or that moment when your muscles are tense and recognizing, okay, I am angry, I am sad, I'm humiliated. It's really about noticing the physical changes in your body. Also, it's about recognizing um, how the body, how your body is responding to these, to the sadness or the feeling of humiliated or whatever emotion that you're going through. How is your breathing? Is your mouth dry? How's your stomach? Is it churning? And so in our exercise, be welcome to play that exercise over and If you are experiencing or you can tell um, how your body's experiencing if you were in that situation. Now, I made that scenario so that we can all be kind of like on the same uh, platform, so to speak, um, starting with a neutral type of situation where we can all identify. But I am so sure that you probably have Uh, personal experiences that maybe you can practice some of this mindfulness acceptance that we're discussing today. Pretend your body is like a vehicle and you're driving along and you see traffic obstacles. What do you usually do first? Well, Most of the time, what we usually do is we're driving along because we're also careful drivers and we are recognizing the obstacles because that's where our vision is. And then what do we usually do? We make the necessary changes in our driving, our driving patterns to navigate through the obstacles. And so... When we're going through different emotional experiences, pretend that the emotional responses that our body is giving us is like some of those obstacles, those traffic obstacles. And so we want to pay attention to our breathing and we want to pay attention to um, how anger or sadness or humiliation or whatever feeling that we're going through is affecting us. Pretend that now that you recognize the obstacle, the obstacle is not you. The obstacle 
of the emotion that you're experiencing, such as anger or sadness or humiliation or whatever uh, feeling that you're going through, now it's in the car beside you, but it's not a part of you. So you choose to see a situation from a calm point of view. Because you're recognizing your body changes, you can take an easy breath in your nose, out your mouth. You can tell if your muscles are tight and you can breathe and say to yourself, my muscles are tight, my breathing is rapid. You're calling your your body responses out. You're putting them out there. And one of the authors that I'm uh, using this tool from, um, his name is Dr. Mitch Ablett, and he wrote The Challenging Child Toolbox. Um, and a lot of the exercises in this workbook I think is helpful for not just children, but I think it's also helpful for adults. And it's one of the recommendations that he recommends is as you're going through this emotional surge to not to feel like you're going to run away from the emotion, um, but recognize, get yourself to a point where the emotion is beside you by expressing, I'm angry, my breathing is rapid, my hands are tingly. And then As you calm yourself down, bring yourself to a state of calmness and then navigate that situation in a more positive way. Negative emotions exist in our life for a purpose. It's a a survival skill, a survival response. We have a choice of how to respond to our negative emotion. We have a choice in our minds how to change a negative emotion into a more calm response. And so we are like the boss of making a choice on how we're responding. If we allow the negative emotion to drive the car, so to speak, um, is not going to be a safe or rational uh, situation. And um, things are said that maybe should not have been said. Things are done which should not have been done. And we've totally lost it, so to speak. So this mindfulness acceptance is a step-by-step process to help us channel that negative energy, that negative surge, and accept, okay, this situation is getting to me. And then talking those emotions out, calming yourself down, and then responding to the situation in a different, more positive way for example let's go back to our scenario as we're checking in and we're at the hotel each one of those scenarios we have the opportunity even before we got to the check-in desk to respond negatively so by the time that we could have gotten to the 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 check-in desk we've We could have been totally irrational. The check-in process would have been disastrous. Or if we're talking to ourselves, taking a calm breath, and recognizing this is irritating, this is inconvenient, um, but keeping that emotion beside us, and as we move through it, we could enjoy our conference and not let the process of getting to the conference be the main event. 
mindfulness acceptance helps us to navigate through unpleasant experiences or situations or emotions. And during this time, as as a society, we're re-entering our society in the midst of this virus. Remember, channel your energy in a positive way, in a calm way. In order to do that, take a breath in, blow it out, get that emotion beside you. So that way, you have the tools and you have what it takes to navigate through the obstacles in our emotional path. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to talking to you next time. Have a great day.